Grade 3 math number 84, telling time to the half hour. If you watched our previous video, we started talking about telling time. There's two hands on a clock. There's a short one and a long one. The short one points to the hour and the long one points to the minutes. I'm going to show you how to read the clock. When you see the time, two with a colon and two zeros means two o'clock and this is how it's written two o'clock and there's a little apostrophe here I think back in hundreds of years ago this meant of clock it was the hour two of the clock but anyway a.m. means morning or day and p.m. means evening or night so you might say, see someone will say, it's 3 p.m. That means it's 3 in the afternoon. If it was 3 a.m., it would be in the middle of your sleeping. It would be in the really, really wee hours of the morning. Each day has 24 hours, but there's only 12 hours on a clock. So the clock has to go around two times every day. 12 plus 12 is 24. So we're going to tell time by the half hour right now. We've got the hour hand pointing to the one hour and the long hand, the minute hand, pointing straight up on the 12. Well, this means it's one o'clock. See? The 12 for the minute hand is when you say o'clock. So if this is pointing at the 1 for the hour, and that's pointing at the 12 for the o'clock, what time do you think this is? The hour hand is pointing to the 2, and I put the dotted lines, the green dotted lines there to help you see where it's pointing, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So if that's 1 o'clock, this must be 2 o'clock. Now we don't know if it's morning or evening because we didn't put p.m. but that's two o'clock we'll worry about the a.m. p.m. a little bit later alright so guess what do you think this one's time says it is that's one o'clock that's two o'clock so this must be three o'clock exactly and it's written with the three the colon and the two zeros okay now, what happens when the hour hand is pointing in the middle of the numbers and the minute hand is pointing straight out to the six? Well, each minute is in between here. This is one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute. So that would be five minutes. In between each one of these numbers is five minutes. Some clocks show them, some don't. So you can count by fives by using these numbers. So that's why it's important to have learned times table first before you learn clocks. That's five, that's ten, that's fifteen, that's twenty, that's twenty-five, that's thirty, thirty-five, 40, 45, are you counting by fives with me? 50, 55, and then it would be 56, 57, 58, 59, and then we would go back to zero, okay? So there are 60 minutes going around the clock, but when we get up here, we go back to the zero. We don't say 60. It goes from 59 back to the zero, okay? So if it's pointing in between the 1 and the 2, it's not 1 o'clock anymore. See? 1 o'clock is when it was pointing straight at the 1. When the minute hand goes around, it makes the hour hand slowly move to the next hour. So now this minute hand has come around to here, and it's made the hour hand move away from the 1 this way to in the middle. So now it is 1.30. 
because we counted by fives. And the six is six times five is thirty. See that? Just remember there's five minutes in between each one, okay? So if this is one thirty, it's in between the one and the two, and you go with the smaller number. It wouldn't be 2.30, that would be down here, okay? Look at this time. The hour hand is pointing in between the 3 and the 4. We're going to go with the smaller number, 3. And it's pointing to the 6, so it's 3.30. Alright? Just count by 5's going around. Alright, let's try another one. Remember, you always go with the smaller number when it's in the middle of two numbers. Now it's in between the 5 and the 6. Which one's the smaller number? The 5. So we know it's going to start with a 5. It's pointing to the 6. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's 530 right there. See? 130, 330, 530. Let's try this one. It's pointing the hour hand always goes first. The hour hand is pointing in between a 6 and a 7. We always go with the smaller number, so it's 6, right? And the minute hand is pointing to the 6, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's 630. See? You gotta remember that the 12 is the 0, so you don't start counting by 5's until you get to the 1, because you don't say 12 times 5, that's the 60, okay? You start with the 1 and say 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, see? And you do your 5 times table coming around. Skip count by 5. What do you think this one is? The hour hand is pointing in between the 8 and the 9, and we always go with the smaller number. So we know it's going to start with an 8. We put the o'clock dots there, the, the colon. It's on the 6, and what does it mean when it's on the 6? It means 30. You'll get to a point where you just know the 6 means 30, and you'll know the 3 means 15, and you'll know the 9 means 45. You'll get to a point where you've got that memorized. You'll have the whole clock memorized, actually. How about this one? The hour hand is what we go with first, remember. It's pointing in between the 9 and the 10. We always start with the smaller hand, and we pick the smaller number. 9 is smaller than 10, so we know it's 9-something. And it's pointing at the 6, which means 30. Whoops. It's 9.30. See? How about this one? The hour hand is pointing in between the 11 and the 12. We go with the smaller number, the 11. We put our colon for o'clock. It's pointing at the 6, which means 30. So this is 1130. All right? So remember, when it's on the hour, pointing directly at the hour, and this one's straight up and down, it means it's 3 o'clock. Sometimes, when the minute hand is pointing here, like just a couple minutes after, people don't say it's 3.02. They say it's still 3 o'clock, because it's roughly that time. If someone's in a hurry, and they'll say, what time is it? Say, it's around 3 o'clock. Say, it's around that time. That means it's close to that time, okay? So, hour hand pointing on the number. Minute hand straight up is o'clock. It's whatever that is pointing at, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. When the hour hand is in between a number, you pick the smaller number, and you count by fives for the minute hand. 9.30, 11.30, 8.30. See, it's not that hard to read a clock. The clock always goes around this way. It always goes around this way, okay? So that's telling time. Whoops, sorry. That's telling time to the half hour. We're going to do more telling time in the next video. Stick with me. I'll see you there.